The Life of a Spy Chapter 1 We, Tara, Felicity, and Willow, have been friends for a while now, and we just started to work things out. Let me tell you the story from the beginning. We first met in January in New York in the Four Seasons Hotel. Our parents had accidentally booked us rooms for five weeks instead of five days. Once we all arrived, the person at the desk said, Sorry, we only have two rooms left. They all shared looks and said, We'll take it. We were shocked. Sharing a room with a bunch of strangers? Why? The lady gave us the keys and showed us to our rooms. It had four queen beds total. Our parents took three of the queen beds and we had to sleep together in one queen bed. Weird, right? I couldn't believe this, and the other two girls looked surprised, too. We sat on the bed, and then the fun started. We got to know each other, and we told stories, and so much more. Then our parents joined in the stories, too. We all had a great night. May 2nd. In the morning when I woke up, I saw Felicity and Willow looking at something from the window. What are you looking at? Our parents? What? But they're in the kitchen. Just look, Tara. Our parents are talking, but it was kind of strange. They were whispering something, but we didn't know what. It was like like they were giving out clues to something, but what? Then they noticed that we were watching them, so they came up. I'm going to ask them. Ask them what, Tara? What they were talking about. No, don't. Willow jumped in. I didn't listen. I walked right in front of her and asked, What were you talking about? When? Just a few minutes ago with Willow and Felicity's parents? I think it's about time I told you. Tell me what? Bring Willow and Felicity and I will get their parents. It's time to have a discussion. I was shocked and I had no idea what was going on. I didn't, I didn't say anything else and just did what she said. Okay, now that everyone is here, let's begin. Mr. Fire, you start. Did you ever wonder where our last name is Fire? Well, I guess there's no easy way to say this, but we can control fire. What? Give it a try, Felicity. Light our fireplace with fire. Okay, here goes. At first, there is smoke, and then flame. Wow. Now turn it off. All she did was twist her hand, and the fire had gone out. Okay. Now, Tara, our last name is Earth because we can move the Earth. Whoa! Yep, let's go outside so we can test this. We ran down the hall as fast as we could, and by the time we got down, our parents were already waiting outside. How did you do that, said Willow. Just something you pick up in training, said Felicity's mom. Okay, pick up and bring the rock to you. It just didn't work. I tried for hours and hours and just couldn't get it. It's starting to get dark. Why don't we move on to Willow's power and then take a break? You can practice later, my dad said. Fine. Let's go to the little pond behind the hotel. Come on, everybody, said Willow in excitement. Okay. Take out some water from the pond and put it back in. While it was still Willow's turn, I snuck back to the front of the hotel and practiced some more. I came back just in time. No one had noticed that I was gone. Okay, guys, let's go back to the hotel so we can eat dinner. May 3rd, 1998. Good morning, I said, but there was no one there. Then I heard a knock on the bedroom door. Tara, you up yet? Yeah, where did everyone go, Felicity? Willow and I just woke up, and we're going to go to the breakfast room downstairs. Do you want to come? Sure, but where are our parents? I don't know. We looked everywhere. Then we assumed that they went in an early errand. Yeah, maybe. Once we went out, we saw Willow looking at something. Guys, come here. Our parents left us a note, and it sounds weird. What did she mean? We went in the kitchen, and the note said, Hello, kids. Go in the basement, and you will find a remote. Click A-S-E. We will take care of the rest. If anyone stops you from going down, give them this note, or tell them that you are with A-F-W. Cool. Maybe this has something to do with spies.
Let's do it, I said. Um, maybe we should do this when we figure out what this is really about, said Willow. She is a careful one. I agree with Tara, Felicity said. Fine. We went downstairs, and when we tried to go in the basement, the same lady that was at the desk said, Sorry, but the basement is off limits. We showed her the letter, and she put some special liquid on the letter, and it revealed invisible ink. After reading the note, she took us to the basement and gave us the remote. Once we pressed ASE, an elevator appeared out of nowhere, and instead of taking us up or down, it took us left and right. We went about 1,000 miles per hour straight to what seemed like an underground bay of water. Then, out of thin air, came a big, long submarine. A man came out and said, Come with me. After ten minutes, where are we going? You'll see, just wait. Come on, tell us something, anything, I said. I didn't know where I was and where I was going. All I can tell you is that your life is going to change forever. Okay, now that's scary. What did he mean by that? Will and Phil looked scared, too. Then, all of a sudden, we stopped. We stopped right in the middle of the underground river. Then, amazingly, the water started to evaporate. And in a blink of an eye, the submarine, it, it disappeared. One minute, we were in a submarine, and the next, we were standing in the dried-up river. We almost fainted. Then a man appeared out of nowhere. He said, Welcome, girls. Welcome to the world of spies. This time, I did faint. How my life changed. The next thing I knew, I woke up with people staring at me. I said, What? What happened? Where am I? Who are you? It's okay. You just fainted, said a man. He continued, and we are in headquarters. This is a spy agency. Then my parents came and told the man, Thanks, Ben. We'll take it from here. No problem. We can start when they are all ready. They walked towards me and said, As we told you, we are spies. And this is headquarters. Wow! I didn't know that this place would look so amazing. I'm glad you like it, because you will be spending a lot of time here. You will train to become spies, just like us. Usually, you become junior spies first, but we need as many spies as we can. What do you mean? And where are Willow and Felicity? You can worry about that later. First, you have two weeks of training with Ben, and also your friends are in the cafe, probably having the same talk we are. Is Ben that man that was here a few minutes ago? Yes. Now, if you want, we can head down to the cafe and grab a bite and see our friends. Sure. Come on. Once we got to the cafe, we said hi to Will and Phil, then got lunch. Right as we sat down, our parents all got a call from some people in their group. They said, Everyone! All the computers and screens lost signal, and the power lines are broken. We think the dark wind has struck again. Sorry, kids. You guys go eat lunch. We'll be back. That must be why we have to become spies to stop dark wind. I think you're right. Twenty minutes later, our parents finally came back and said, Time to go home, kids. Hurry. After that, no one said anything else, and all of us went back to the hotel. Once we got back, Willow asked, What happened? Why did we have to rush back here? They shut and locked all the windows, sat down, then said, There is this person, Dark Wind. He destroys everything that is in his path, like what happened today. So then we rushed back home so he could not get to us. Exactly. So how did he find about HQ? It's hidden. His name is actually Willie Wind. 
and he was once a spy. He was the best at everything, but one day, he just started to become evil, so now he is known as Dark Wind. Oh, wow. But we will worry about him for now. You girls need to focus on training. We talked more about training and practiced our powers. Then we had dinner and went to sleep.